we do have a very slim 10% chance of seeing some showers and thunderstorms Wednesday afternoon. I really wouldn't bet the house on it. Certainly we are going to have that heat though. So please keep this in mind when you're walking your dog. I've had a lot of requests to talk about this. We always think about people in the heat, but our four-legged friends have to actually touch the concrete or the asphalt or the artificial grass when they're out and about and that can burn their feet as well. So here's your dog walking weather for Wednesday. 5 a.m. 75 degrees. That's a good time. 8 a.m. Eh, okay. Warming up to the 80s by then at about 86 degrees. 103 by 5 p.m. No, not a good idea to walk your dog then. And by 8 p.m., it's still kind of iffy as the temperature of the air will still be in the mid-90s. So what I like to do is just kind of kick my, my flip-flop off or my shoe and put my foot directly on the asphalt or the concrete or the surface that my dog will be on. If it's too hot for your feet, it's definitely too hot for their paws. Our highs across southern Arizona Wednesday, Wilcox and Bowie at 98. 98 also for Douglas. Sierra Vista, 96, 103 Green Valley, 104 in Marana, 105 in Ajo, as well as Cells, 3 points, 101. Again, 105 Tucson, 103 Sarita, as well as Corona de Tucson, 100 for Vail, as well as Benson. A look at the extended Kega night in your side, 7-day forecast, although our heat is still going to be above average, which is about 99 degrees to 100 this time of year. We are going to stay well shy of records. The records will range anywhere from 109 to about 111 over the next seven days. We are expecting those overnight lows to hover in the upper